Back in the life of your boy Ronnie Bizzle, the Las Vegas local, living the life here in beautiful Las Vegas. It is Sunday, September 9th, 2018. It's the first day of the NFL season, the first day of fantasy football, and the first day of a long journey. <laughs> football wise, anyways. I am headed to work right now to be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy, starting another week. Grinding another day in the life of your boy. Wondering what will the next seven days bring to your boy. I know there are only things that I can control. You know, playing poker, doing eBay, working as a poker dealer, supporting my family, loving my family, loving life, and just seeing what the day brings. And that's what's great about life, boys and girls, is you never know what each day brings. So you gotta enjoy it while you can, good or bad. The plans this week is very simple. Um, I gotta work on eBay. I did not do one single eBay transaction. Well, it's about listing, because I did, I did sell a couple of things, but I didn't, I didn't list one thing over the weekend. So I gotta get back into that. So I'll probably do that tonight. A lot of it this week. Um, of course, I'm gonna try to play more poker again, and then uh, just living the life, living, living the life with your boy Ronnie Bizzle. It's all about getting my time back through eBay, through poker, through life. Let's go. So a pretty eventful productive day for your boy Ronnie Bizzle as Mr. Poker Dealer Guy. I worked seven and a half hours, pretty much dealt the whole time because we were super, super busy. I think I had one break the whole time I was there. And I think the fact that our um, our promotions are doing good, uh, uh, the word is trickling, trickling out there and so people that we haven't seen in a long time are showing up. Like today I saw some people that I hadn't seen in a while playing in our room. I'm sure they're playing for the free roll, which has uh, been tremendous for us. You know, the room is busy. I think the combination of that, along with the first weekend of the NFL, so we had a, a good mixture of locals and tourists in the room, which made the games very, very good. And your boy made money. He made some good money today. So I hope this keeps up the rest of the week. Um, I know it won't be, I know it won't, the tourists won't be as, as I know there won't be as many tours because they'll be going home, but you never know. You never, never know. Anyways, I'm gonna head home now. Um, I'm hungry. I'm, I'm always hungry when I get off work. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is September 10th, 2018. I just got out of the gym. Did a little cardio workout, little shoulder, little, no, a little, oh, it was just chest. It was chest and back day today. So I worked hard on that, feeling the burn right here in my chest. Um, heading back home, cause I got some stuff that I need to do. I sold something on eBay while I was there, while I was at the gym. So I gotta go home and pack that. I gotta go buy some stamps, cause I got some stuff I gotta mail out, some personal stuff, and then, I have to go, what else I gotta do? Some other stuff uh, that I need to do. Then I'm gonna list some stuff on eBay and then it's off to be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy. Hopefully another busy day for your boy. So it's gonna be another typical day, another long day, but hopefully a profitable day. So let's go and start Monday the Ronnie Bizzle way. So I actually, uh, today at the gym, I actually upped my, uh, weight a little bit 20 pounds each on the chest and I think 10 pounds on the back it wasn't as big as a struggle as I thought it would be um, I was working a lot more on my technique rather than the weights just do make sure I did the exercises the right way so that's gonna be I'm gonna maintain this weight for about two weeks and see what happens see where I am and hopefully in a couple weeks the weight will gradually increase but uh, yeah I'm feeling feeling I'm getting stronger Feeling the weight coming off, feeling the clothes getting loose again on me, and uh, feeling like a million bucks. So uh, Monday is done as uh, Mr. Poker Dealer Guy. So we were busy 
the first half of the shift and then kind of slowed down, kind of went steady. But I want to tell you about this table I built that uh, showed you that even though it was a bad table financially, it was actually a pretty good table. So like I said, sometimes you're in a bad table and you're not gonna make any money, yet it was an enjoyable table to deal at. And that happened today. So we had this group of people, they used to play at another casino, so they came to our poker room and started a 3-6 game. And I was warned about the table. They were uh, not playing any hands and it was just no pots. I think no pots went over $10. It was one of those tables. Anyways, um, so I went in there with no expectations of making any money. And I did not make any money. I made, actually made $5 net down. But I had these two guys sitting to the left of me and to the right of me. And one of them found out that I was in the military. I don't know how it came up, but I they felt I was in the military. And these two guys were actually retired military. So they want to know where I was stationed, what branch I was in, what I what I did in the military. So I told them. And then they were telling their stories about, you know, one was in Vietnam, uh, one was stationed in Randolph Air Force Base. And so for 30 minutes, I was talking to these two guys about my military career, my military life. And even though I wasn't making any money and no, that nobody was playing any hands, it was actually a very, very enjoyable 30 minutes. And it made that what I thought would be a bad down bearable. And it went by quick. It went by really, really quick. So just to show you that sometimes, yes, you're gonna to get to a table where you're not gonna make any money, but if the people that are there are nice people, and a lot of the people, a lot of these people were nice. They were really super nice people. They just, you know, play, trying to get hours for our uh, promotion. You know, you just, um, you forget about the money part. And I did, I kind of forget, I gotta forget about the fact that I did not make any money until I got up and realized, damn, I didn't make any money in this table. But the conversation was really, really good. So uh, I think this group is gonna come back tomorrow. So I'm sure when I get there, we'll have the same conversation. I'll probably ask more about military. And hopefully again, that 30 minutes go by fast. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So it's late at night. Actually, it's not late, it's like 10 o'clock. Just sold something on eBay. I'm gonna show you what it is. That's a really, really cool item. It's this right here. Where is it? Right here. Check this out. It's a Cubs uh, snapback. But look at look at the design. It's like Hawaiian sh Hawaiian uh, shirt style kind of a thing. So I sold this. I got this at Desert Industries for like two dollars, and I sold it for twenty five dollars. So anyways, I'm going to pack this right now, and then uh, I'm actually watching Monday Night Raw once again. But this is uh, cool to uh, hear that ching while I'm watching wrestling, and now I'm going to pack it before I go to bed. So I'm going to end this vlog right now. So Monday is done. I'll see you again Tuesday for another day in the life of Ronnie Bizzle. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Let's get to Tuesday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to September 11th, 2018. Today is a uh, surreal day for me every year since 2001 on this day. Um, I've been a poker dealer since 2005. And for those of you guys who don't know, my prior life, I spent 11 years in the military. I was in the Air Force. I was in the Air Force, stationed at Nellis Air Force Base when the World Trade Center went down. I was sitting in the command post. I was an admin guy. And I went to the command post because they had all these TVs with the news on. And I was standing there next to a staff sergeant talking about what was going on. And I looked up and all of a sudden the towers, this plane hit the towers. And then it was like, wow. And then like an hour later, 
the towers went down. It's an image that's, that's stuck to my head since that day and never let it go. Um, although now I've been a poker dealer longer than I was in the military, I never ever forget where I came from. Um, the 11 years in the military was, was uh, challenging, fun, but it's always a part of me no matter what I do from here on out. Anytime I feel like I'm losing the military part of me, I always think about days like today and other times when I was in the military for 11 years. I did serve this country for 11 years and it's a part of me that will never, I will never ever forget. So today is going to be kind of somber. I mean, I got to go to work and be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy, but you know, in the back of my mind, I'm going to think about everything that happened on that day, everything that happened after 9-11. It was uh, pretty rough. It was a rough time, but uh, it, it was, that part kind of made me who I am today to uh, appreciate my military career. So, today's vlog, so today might be kind of weird. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I just want to mention that. Um, say that I will never ever forget that day, 9-11, as long as I live, no matter what I do in my life, no matter if I stop dealing and do some, do eBay full time or whatever, there's always, always a part of me that's military and it will never ever go away. So I'm a little sore this morning. I actually went to the gym and uh, did like an hour of cardio. And a lot of ab work. I did this uh, machine where I did like 130 pounds ab, 130 pounds weight doing this crunch machine. And I'm feeling it like right here. <laughs> but this kind of pain is good pain. It feels really, really good. So hopefully it doesn't affect me the rest of the day. Because right now, like if I go like this, I can feel it. Like, like that, I can feel it. You know, when you're dealing cards, I'm always going like this. So hopefully um, I won't feel the effects of it, but I'm really uh, fired up about uh, you know where my workout's going, and uh, hopefully the weight will start to come off. It has, just not that pace that I would want. <sighs> Anyways, uh, gotta put the socks on. Chilling out, watching Raw that I not finished last night. I got like 20 minutes, and it's off to work to be Mr. Poker Doll. Poker dealer guy once again. So I got home from work, chilling out, about to work on some eBay, watch a bit of a SmackDown. I got my two cats, keep me coming. I got this is a cupcake, and this is sprinkles. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna end today's vlog right over here. Just a uh, day of remembrance of 9 11. The cat doesn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> See, this one cat wants to be a part of it. So thank you for watching Tuesday, September 11th, 2018. And let's get on with the next day, Wednesday. It starts now. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Hello again, everybody. It is Wednesday, September 12th, 2018. It is 10.32 in the a.m. and your boy is heading out to work to be Mr. Poker Dealer Guy once again. Spend the morning, I had to run some errands. I drop off a package that I sold on eBay. And then I spend the rest of the morning on YouTube. I was um, looking at some video of trying to uh, maximize the video editing software that I got and I was looking at a few things and I really really am fired up about some of the stuff you can do with this editing equipment um, right now as you've probably seen the, la the last couple of vlogs the uh, editing has been kind of vanilla um, I still haven't put any kind of um, uh, effects on it until I truly master what um, this program has to offer and some of the stuff that I've learned through a tutorial is there's some amazing stuff you can do with this like high quality movie like box office style stuff that I'm so fired up to uh, to try out so hopefully the future vlogs will be uh, cinematic 
a movie cinematic <laughs> as best I can. Tonight I'm probably going to go back on YouTube and look at more videos and then work on a little bit of eBay and typically just see what happens for your boy today as we get on with another day. Here we go. Whoa, okay, 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 boys and girls. Another day of poker dealing is done. Was a terrible day. Was rather terrible. <laughs> to be honest, it was pretty bad. Anyways, I'm headed home. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you earlier in the day is last night I got this major Charlie horse right behind my right calf. So those of you guys who've ever had a Charlie horse, it is painful. And um, kind of felt the effects of it today. In fact, I still feel it right now. It's so I've been, I've been stretching it pretty much all day long. So um, I hope I don't get it. Hope it doesn't affect my workout tomorrow. Hope it feels better. I'm about to get a massage. Maybe I'll ask my wife to do it for me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna head home. Gotta stop by get dinner for the fam. Today is gonna be when in doubt, in and out burgers. And then go home and maybe give myself a massage. Or once again, has the wife. <laughs> Here we are, boys and girls. The world famous in and out burger place. Right over there. Check it out. The old good. The old incredible. The old tasty. Hamburguesa in and out. Because what I always say, when in doubt, in and out. See, doesn't this look really, really good? Double, 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 double. Animal style, cheeseburger, fries, milkshake. So I think I'm going to end Wednesday right here in my kitchen. Just chilling out here. It's about 9.30 and I'm about to go upstairs and uh, chill out. Anyways, uh, come back for Thursday starting soon as we continue the life of your boy Ronnie Bizzle. Midweek for your boy. They're going to evacuate those remaining 10 to make sure everyone is safe, George. Tom, let's talk about those 40% who are staying. Oh. Hello everybody, welcome to September 13th, 2018. It is Thursday, it's your boy's Friday, last day being Mr. Poker Dealer Guy. So this morning I've been uh, following a lot of the uh, Hurricane uh, Florence news. It's, um, it's happening like this big category two or three storm that's, that's like 500 miles in width. That's gonna strike uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, and parts of Virginia. Um, the reason I bring it up is because uh, I used to live in that area, so I'm kind of praying and hoping that my friends who live in that area will, won't have their houses damaged or they'll be okay. Um, you know, I lived in Charleston for three years, so it has a special place in my heart because it's one of my favorite places to ever live. I always tell myself, if I ever move out of Las Vegas, I'm going to go back to Charleston because I loved my three years that I lived in Charleston. But... I don't think that's gonna happen because I live in Las Vegas now and look at this weather right here. No, there is no way I'll ever be through another hurricane again. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so I'm just keeping tabs on that hurricane. Um, and today is actually my Friday. Um, I was gonna go to the gym, but my calf is still a little sore from that Charlie horse that I got a couple days ago. It's really sore. so. Uh, I'm not going to the gym t today, but if I feel better tonight, then I'm probably going to go to the gym tonight. Other than that, it's just going to work, uh, signing the EOLISC, and then hopefully get off early, and then uh, start the weekend for your boy Ronnie Bizzle. Enjoying this nice weather. Like I said, hoping that the, my friends that live in that South Carolina, North Carolina area are okay, get through Hurricane Florence unscathed, 
and um, wishing that some of them were here with me in Vegas. <laughs> Three hours too long, if you ask me. <laughs> I am done dealing for the day. Who's honking? Anyways, I am going to head home. I was going to play poker, but I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to grab some lunch because I really didn't eat at work. And uh, another thing is, um, man, these games I dealt today, a couple of them, man, they just suck the life out of me. <laughs> oh, my God, they were brutal. Uh, and Maybe tonight I'm going to go play poker, but I think tonight... The main thing I really want to do is go to the gym. So I hope I get some motivation tonight to go to the gym. Maybe during the football game or maybe after the football game. But and if I then if I feel up to it, I'm going to go play poker somewhere. Probably Red Rock. Maybe somewhere in the strip. Who knows? I'm not sure what my plans are. So this is my current situation. It is around 7.15 the p.m. I am watching football, which I'm not going to show because of copyright things, but it's up there. And I'm just playing a little one cent, two cent while I'm doing it. Just uh, trying to kill some time. Playing online poker, trying to do things. I still may go out and play. Um, I'm really relaxed right now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go out to the gym. But it may happen. It still may happen. It's still early today. But yeah, just uh, join this relaxing Thursday night, my Friday night here in Las Vegas, playing a little online poker action. Not really care if I want any money. Just trying to play the best I can and uh, hopefully make a little money. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is September 14th, 2018. Another beautiful day here in Las Vegas. I'm headed out. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of poker this morning because I really have nothing planned. So I just want to go play some cards for a little bit. And then tonight is date night with the wife. And in between that, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully, I will win at poker. So this week has been kind of a bland week for your boy. Uh, Nothing really has happened major, you know, but I still vlog my life every single day and share it to the you guys, the YouTube universe. I have to say that this week has been one of those groundhog type of weeks. I go to work and I come home. Next day, I go to work and I come home. Go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. And some weeks are like that. You know, you can't... Uh, how to do too many things all the time. You can't be doing stuff all the time. Sometimes it's all about day-to-day -day life. And that's what I try to depict in this vlog as being a Las Vegas local. That it's not all about glitz and gambling and glamour and going to shows and going to the Las Vegas Strip. That's just not what the typical Las Vegas local does. We go to work. We come home. We sit in our loft. We sit in our couches and we watch TV and chill. We go to the gym. Uh, we take care of our families. We spend time with our families. That is the Las Vegas local. And that's what I want to show you guys, that you know, the people that are thinking about moving here to Las Vegas, this is how it is for 99% of the people that live in Las Vegas. We just live our lives. We just wanna support our family. We just wanna live day to day. But just, we just live in the most glamorous city, the most exciting city in the world. But, you know, some weeks are like this. You just go and you go to work and you come home and you go to work and you come home. But now, it's time to unwind. Like I said, I'm going to play a little bit of poker, watch a little college football, maybe place a better two in college football, spend time with the family, and generally just relax today and tomorrow and enjoyed the life of a Las Vegas local of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle.
Or, yeah. We don't know whose tickets there. None of them are back. Yeah, you're right. Well, unfortunately, they didn't have one two game going. Well, it was four handed, then somebody left, and so it was three handed, and I feel like playing three handed, and I don't have that much patience to wait. But it wasn't a total loss. Got a Perrier out of it. So I think I'm going to find somewhere else to play. Hmm, let me think. Where should I go? So I think I'm going to try to go right over there. Do you see it over there? Mandalay Bay. They have a couple. I just checked on Bravo. They got a couple games. So I haven't played in this room in a long time. So let's go see what Mandalay Bay has to offer. Really nice guys, they're all friendly with each other, so there's a little bit of soft play going on, <laughs> but it's all right. I'm up, I'm up, so we'll see what happens. Uh, That's gonna be it for Friday. Um, I'm actually gonna have date night with the wife, but I don't feel like recording it. We're probably gonna go play poker at Santa Fe. We're definitely gonna go see a movie. But I think I'm gonna put this camera down for the night. So, anyways, thanks for watching today. We have one more day in the life of your boy Ronnie Bizzle coming up right now, and it's Saturday. And here we go. Hello, everybody. It is Saturday. It is September 15th. It is 2018. And it is early in the morning, 9 o'clock, almost 9.30. Uh, today, in the life of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, I think I'm pretty much going to stay on this couch all day. Um, I told myself today is uh, I'm going to work on eBay. I got I got this this bag full of stuff that I need to list. I'm going to get that thing done. A couple of these things I got to list as well. And then um, I'm going to watch some stay here, watch some college football pretty much all day. And then tonight, my wife's cousin and her boyfriend are going to come over for a little ribs dinner. So, I think I'm only going to go out to get lunch. But other than that, I want to stay right here and just chill and just enjoy the Saturday and get some eBay stuff done. I really want and need to get some eBay stuff done. So, that's the plan today. Subject to change because things happen. But, like I said... Um, college football, eBay, 
rib dinner tonight with the fam. A chill day for your boy Ronnie Bizzle. eBay, tell us what you're selling. Let's see. We're selling Epson black ink cartridges. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. 